was our first proper audience, and we had done two very small, slightly informal, I suppose you'd say, like test screenings in in London to just get a sense of how it played. But this was halfway through the editing. I mean, you know, and th 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 to be honest. I knew at that point that if it plays well, if you, if you find the right audience, those moments play wonderfully because an audience just gets swept up in the film. So, um, but it was just so satisfying to hear those gasps. I mean, it's it just, it, it was like an old fashioned Victorian melodrama or something, you know, that uh, mm. when they saw those letters in the drawer and it was, yeah, wow. it's great. It's about a young woman um, who moves from a small town in Ireland called Enniscorthy in the 1950s to New York, to Brooklyn. Um, and it's about her experience there um, and how when she goes back home, she's brought back home by the family tragedy, um, how her perception of home and home's perception of her has really changed and um, how home can never quite be the same for you ever again once you've left, you know? Um, and she's being pulled in two different directions. When she goes back home, she's got an option of a lovely, familiar, secure life there um, with the people that she's grown up with and her family and everything. And then in New York, this is a life that she's kind of created for herself and it's very much hers. And she's got, you know, a man who adores her there waiting for her to start this lovely life together so um we talked about this in rehearsals actually and it really struck me when when you said this and i will never forget it that it's the film is very much about a choice that by the end of the movie she gets to a place in her life where she's gone through enough experience and heartbreak and happiness and um so many different hurdles to finally be able to make the choice on what will make her happy yeah i think uh for me the the biggest thing about the movie and the role was to be able to be sort of the light of it. You know, there's a lot of light in Tony and I, I don't really play that. Well, I haven't really done that, you know? Um, and I just, I, I just, you know, I, I really, he, there was this great quality of sort of stuttering and then directness. It was like, it was building up to these points that he had to make. It was, everything was life or death for him when it came to Ailish. And I just found that really interesting. Um, it's my mother and father's story. They went over to New York in the 80s um, and worked very hard and um, sometimes d like barely had a cent to their name and then other times it was great. And it was, uh, it was an incredible time for them. Um, although very tough, it really made them who they were. And my mom, uh, had gone through so much there and we only spoke about it again this morning. She was determined to stick it out. She was determined to stay there and stick it out and get through it because this was hers. And so when she was pregnant on me, she was adamant that she was gonna have me there and that, you know, if I ever had the opportunity to go back to America, that it would be easier for me than it was for them. Uh, I was sent the script for it. And so Nick had written the script. I'd read the book for pleasure about two, three years earlier, um, but there was a previous incarnation as they were trying to put it together with other people, so it sort of took its time before it, it, <laughs> it came my way and was meant to be, as it were, and you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. Um, but the thing that drew me to it is the emotion that's at the core of the story, and, and most specifically, the way that Colm and then Nick in the screenplay, and then we really fought for this in the film, tried to express what it means to be an exile, which is when you no longer belong at home where, where you've left behind and nor do you quite belong where you've moved to. You, you become a, a, a member of a third race, which is an exile, and that that's not a condition that just passes with time. The only thing you can do is sort of choose it and go, this is it, this is where my life is, which is why the la that's the last line of the, of the film. So, you know, as Saoirse said, it is a film about a choice, but it's a, it's a very empowering story for about a young woman who starts where with with uh, it, what you know one could say with zero agency in her life people make decisions for her she's put on the boat sent to america and is almost like a blank slate and you gradually see this rather wonderful young woman emerge as she meets all the challenges rather painfully on her own with the help of some very wise older women which is a sort of motif running through the film right through to the end where she 
is able to sort of take down the, the small town baddie, as it were, the small town meanie, and um, refuse to be shamed by her. Mm -hmm. 